back to 20 Minutes or Less. I'm Lee Newton. Hi, I'm Ellie Morgan. Hi. Hi. Hey. The human brain is the center of the human nervous system. It executes functions such as self-control, planning, reasoning, and abstract thought. It is the center of cognitive thought. Its size and ability is what separates us from the beasts that roam the earth. But all of this will soon change. Wait, why are you talking in that voice? I I'm about to spout off some amazing information, and I can't do it in anything but a narrator's voice. Continue. Okay, thank you. The brain that once belonged to only humans is now being recreated. By whom, you ask? Who other than the almighty powerful Google? Google has created an artificial brain made from 16,000 computer processors in order to create a brain-style neural network. Okay, we're talking artificial intelligence, Android, computer brains taking over like Jarvis or Hal or David or Data. Okay, Lee, uh, do you know what they did with the brain after they built it? I don't know. Asked it the questions of life and then started manufacturing it into armies? No, they did not do that. They set it down in front of an internet connection and then fed it random images from 10 million YouTube videos and then let it learn. And you know what it learned? Um, everything about humanity, including the Martin Luther King speech to the follow the Berlin Wall. It's learning our strengths and weaknesses so it knows how to take us down and further infiltrate our society, yo. No. no. No, actually the, uh, the machine brain focused on cats. 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 The idea was for the computer brain to be able to learn on its own what is present in a YouTube video through a process called machine learning. The machine was fed random thumbnail images extracted from 10 million videos on YouTube and after searching through the thumbnails, the computer was able to determine what a cat was. Hold on, you had me thinking it was watching cat videos and getting super into it, but no. It was learning how to define a cat. God, that's so much more terrifying. Okay, it's not that intense. It's just a computer cluster brain that's able to determine what a cat was on their own. Or, it's own, I guess. Dr. Jeff Dean, one of the Google designers, said, We never told it during the training, this was a cat. It basically invented the concept of cat. How are you not terrified? This is the beginning of cognitive thought, Elliot. It's A. I. It's artificial intelligence. No, okay, it's just trying to run a self-sufficient computer that labels faces that aren't faces and doesn't have to be supervised. <laughs> it's not that hard. It starts with cats, then it moves on to defining what a human is, and then it destroys everything. That would never happen, Lee. Wait, how do you know that? Does anybody listen to me? Anybody? Anybody out there? Anybody in this room? Okay, I used to work intelligence. The show Alias was based on my life, obviously. I'm Jennifer Garner, okay? Why do you think I get countless calls from NASA all the time? You're right. I'm sorry. I really should have listened to you on this. God, I'm such a dingus. Don't say dingus! Okay, that's a flag word. I gotta go. They're gonna know I'm here. So guys, do you think it's a super intelligent brain? Or do you think it's just a machine that identifies cats? Let us know in the comment section down below. Also, don't forget to click that like and subscribe button. Click the annotation down below. Go to sourcefed.com for our five daily stories and every day else story we've already done. I'm Lee Newton. I just got flagged. Elias! <laughs>